Um, I don't know. I mean, I went through a phase where I was that crazy and I knew everything. I knew all the brake horsepower of everything that was coming out and um, I just was obsessed by it. I've just, ever since I passed my driving test, it's just been something that I've been really excited by and, and just exhilarated and, and love the thought of cars. <laughs> yes, I did. That was my first true love before I even passed a driving test. And um, when I was able to buy that car, it was just a moment of... I was sitting behind the wheel and you see the little badge that says R8 and I actually had to say to myself, no. I've done the V8, then the V10 and then I've done the R8 GT as well. So I'm well, they basically made it a whole lot lighter. So everything was carbon fibre and um, got rid of the glass and the, the windows and lowered it. So it was just quicker. It was up to about, I think, 560 from about 520 from the standard V10. Yeah. I live my life that way. The goal was the Bugatti Veyron, but I've got to get busy with the old songwriting before I can go there. <laughs> the GT came a Ferrari 458. I am, yes. That was the first time I'd ever sat in a Ferrari. And again, that was a... I still get that moment when I see the little prancing horse and I go, no. <laughs> yes, a few times, actually. I remember it because you wrote a column and you were absolutely raging about it. <laughs>